So many women have had unwanted pregnancy simply because they don't know their safe period. So in this video, I'm going to show you some simple steps on how to calculate the safe period. I am Dr. Akoche Omale, a licensed medical doctor. So let's get right into the video. So in order for you to determine your safe period, there are certain things that you need to understand. First of all, you need to understand your ovulation. Secondly, how many days does a released egg stay in the woman's you no know, reproductive system? Then also you need to understand your menstrual cycle. Then after then, we will now calculate the fertile window and the safe period. And then I will give you three simple tips so that even after watching this video, you will not forget how to calculate your safe period. So that by the time you are done watching this, this video with these three tips, with the three tips that I will be showing you, you will not forget how to calculate what is ovulation. Ovulation is simply the release of egg. Most babies, most female babies are born with over 1 million egg. But at Pubati, they have about 350,000 egg. And this egg is released on each, on each ovulation day. On each ovulation day, about 3 to 5 eggs in your ovary will begin to develop. They will begin to develop. You understand? So now, but before ovulation, just only one of the eggs, the biggest egg that will be released during the ovulation. So now, the release of this egg into the fallopian tube is called ovulation. So, having understood what ovulation is, now let's go to the next one, which is, so if an egg is released into the fallopian tube, how many days does it last before, you know, it gets expelled, before the egg dies? It usually lasts for about 24 hours. So, if a woman ovulates today, it will take about 24 hours for the egg to die. So, that by the time you understand this now, you can, you know, apply knowledge to get it. So, now, it usually lasts for about 24 hours. So, we have answered that question. Then the next is now, what is menstrual cycle? Menstrual cycle is the period between when you see your period and then the next period. So in order for you to calculate your safe period, I'm going to like give you three good tips so that you will not forget. Now the first tip is subtract 14. The second tip is plus or minus 2. And then the third tip is sperm lifespan. So now if you understand these three things, if you apply these three things, and then if you just hold these three things in your mind, you will not forget it, even after watching this video. So, suppose Alice, for example, starts seeing her period, let's say on the, let's say on the three now, for example. And then she sees her menstrual period again on the 27. Hmm? So now this is what, this is Alice day one. This is day two. This is day three. Day four. Day five the 6, the 7, the 8, the 9, the 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 20, 25. So now, this day will not be part of this menstrual cycle again because this is when Alice will see the next menstrual cycle. So let's say Alice saw her menstrual cycle on the third day. That third day becomes her day one of her menstrual cycle. You understand? Then now, the day before she sees the second, the next menstrual cycle becomes the last day of her menstrual cycle. So now this day 25 now is no longer among. So now this one now will now be day one of her next menstrual cycle. You get it now. So now this Alice now has 24 days. And 24 falls within this one. So she has a normal menstrual cycle. So now, this is what 24 bar. So now what we do now, I think the first tip is to do what? Subtract 14. So now the menstrual, Alice menstrual um, cycle lasts for what? 24 days. So it will be what? 24 minus 14. You understand? Now there's something about this 14. From scientific evaluation and experiment, it was estimated that every woman will ovulate on the 14th day of her menstrual cycle. Yes. So regardless of who you are, hmm, you ovulate on the 14th day of your menstrual cycle. So this is why we are subtracting 14 from the total day of the menstrual cycle. So now, if you subtract the 14 now, this might not be this, this one, so 10. So that means... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now on the 10th day now, which is on the 12th, 
this will be this will be Alice day of ovulation so if she so that means if Alice starts saying her menses from from the third she ovulates on the twelfth so this day now will now become Alice ovulation day you understand but it's not usually you know it is not usually certain that okay okay it will be on this day sometimes she might ovulate two days before and sometimes she might ovulate within two days after so that is when we will come to the second tip which is plus or minus two you understand plus or minus two so now we we'll add two days which is one two that means 12 13 and 14 then we minus two days one two which is the eight the nine and the ten the eleven and the twelve so now from estimation it will be on what the tenth day that she's going to ovulate but she might ovulate on the eleventh day she might ovulate on the twelfth day so this is more like the average calculation for every woman and she might ovulate two days before then and she might also ovulate one day before then you understand this day now this day now becomes her fertile window so alice fertile window will now be what the 8 the 9 the 10 the 11 and the 12. so that this will be her what fertile window but now there's something about the the sperm now a semen a sperm can can be in the woman's uterus for over two days like two to five days if a woman has intercourse with the husband the sperm can remain in the woman's womb for like two to five days you understand so now suppose so now suppose the woman now maybe has sex on the eighth that sperm can still be alive on the eight nine ten eleven and on the twelfth so now we want to like calculate her fertile window then we need to add the lifespan of the sperm so now in order to do that you will now add five before each day now so now this is what one two three four five that means the three the four the five the six seven eight nine and ten eleven twelve and thirteen this is the day that the woman may likely get pregnant suppose she has sexual intercourse with the husband so now we now say from the three down to the twelve this day is not safe for her to have sexual intercourse right if she doesn't want to get pregnant from the three now to the twelve is a fertile window that means if she has unprotected sex she will likely get pregnant and there are some percentage that you calculate you understand she is more likely get pregnant within the eight 9 10 11 and 12 so now there's high percentage or probability of her getting pregnant and now if you add the lifespan now of the sperm now it will now take us to like from day 3 down to day 12 that means if she has unprotected sexual intercourse within these days she will mo most likely get pregnant anything aside from day 3 to day 12 is a safe period if you are on natural and uh, family planning using the calendar method then you don't have to worry you don't have to use them um, you know condom or any of the barrier method from the 13 that is from day 1 to 13 down to 24 that is your safe period so now i want you to let me do something i want you to like comment the fertile window they have calculated i want you to comment it in the comment section i also want you to comment your safe period in the comment section then i want you to give me your menstrual cycle in the comment section so that i'll be sure that okay this lesson or you know this tutorial was a productive one if you have any question please do well to ask me in the comment section and i'm going to attend to all your questions please do well to like and subscribe if you have not and leave a comment thank you for your time